All right, guys. Hi, welcome back to Mass Effect with me, Stevie, and I'm pretty sure this is gonna be one of the last episodes of Mass Effect. Hopefully, if it doesn't crash and if I don't save over my save file, uh, because that didn't happen. But it could have. But it could have happened. But it didn't. Anyways, where did we leave off in the last episode? I still have a girlfriend. None of my crew is dead. We are on a planet where there was a high five sign. So I think it's the game saying, good job, you're finally almost done this fucking game that you started over a year ago. I am not mad. I am just excited. <laughs> Last episode, I did get lost on the planet we are on now, which I forgot the name of because that's how my brain works. And I didn't realize I was unlocking a door to go back to my car to go after Saren because Saren didn't go the way I went, but I was confused for some reason. I know when I watched the footage, I realized just how dumb I am. Anyways, we're here, we're back. So let's continue on the main mission. My game is really dark. I am too lazy to get up and get my remote to change the brightness settings. So I might not see and be worse than normal. Oh no, it's way too dark. It's way too dark. I was still lazy and didn't get up, but I did change the brightness. So let's get back in my car for maybe one of the last times. Now I'm gonna try and save a lot more than I have been, just in case. I thought Sarah would have set some kind of trap or ambush. Garrus. They must have been in too much of a hurry. Garrus, don't fucking say that. Garrus. This is, this is your fault. If someone dies, this is your fault. What are all those things on the wall? Some kind of container? Garrus! Oh, there's some red down there. <gasps> ah! I'm having a hard time with the car again. Oh, I don't see anyone. I forgot how to go faster. Oh, 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 oh. Go. How do I go faster? How do I go faster? The last button I press. Right. What the fuck is that? What the fuck? No! No! Game! Game, you're really pissing me off again! It's not the first fucking episode! <gasps> Do I get to drive? And now to the Geth base. Expect heavy resistance. Oh. I already suck. Oh my god. Oh! Oh my god, why? Why can't I drive? This way. Yes. No. Are you kidding? Why do, why do I suck at this? Whoa! No, 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 no. No, no, don't get stuck here. I was doing so well. I was doing so well. Well. I'm not doing much better than the last time I drove the car. Can I go up here? Can I go back? I can't go back. What game am I playing currently? I can't even get out! I'm I can't exit because I'm on the bottom. Oh. It's that easy? Why am I going into fucking water now? What's happening? It's a trap! Saren must have set an ambush. I don't think Saren's behind this. Guys, I'm really over being upside down in my car. Oh, is this the Protheans? Are they calling to me? Why am I on this side of the car? The door's on the other side. I'm crouched. Let's put away our weapon in case it's a friendly. Which way is the which which way is the door gonna open? It's gonna be this way. It's gonna be right here. I'm ready, guys. What do you think we're gonna find down here? It has to be useful if it's specifically targeted us. Don't get your hopes up. The only thing we can depend on right now is ourselves. It's beautiful music. This is the music at the beginning of the game. It's got to be good. I'm not going to shoot anything. Not that I would be good at shooting. Virgil, were you, were you, was this the guy at the beginning of the game or this is the guy at the other part of this building? Open. You are not Prothean, I'm not. but you are not machine either. No. 
This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Oh. Looks like some kind of VI program. Yes. Pretty that's badly damaged. I, I do uh, not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any We've seen these everywhere, you. Rex. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is still hope. Wait a minute. How come I can understand you? Why aren't you speaking the Prothean language? I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Oh, what are, are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system, with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, chief overseer of the Ilos Research Facility. Kesad Aishan. Uh, well, get you the point! I am an asshole! I don't have time for this. Yes, you do! Yes, you do. You can't be a douche. You need all the help you can get. This guy made a water wall, okay? What do you want? Why did you bring me here? You must break what, a cycle like? that has continued for millions of years. Yes. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. Okay. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government. As it was with us, and as it has been with every civilization that oh, came so it before is. us. It's... But the Citadel is a trap. Yeah. The station is actually an enormous mass relay. One that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. Oh, well then why are we here? Why are we here right now? We gotta go now. Wait, I'm not allowed there. I'm not allowed there. Citadel as a relay. How come nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass relay? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretakers. The Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable oh! any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Shit. Not until the Relay is activated and the Reapers invade. Right. Okay, so those little grasshopper-looking things at the very beginning of the game that that guy wanted me to, like, bug, I guess? I, I forgot what he wanted me to do. But in the end, I didn't, I didn't even finish that quest. But I did locate all of them. So... Are are they bad then? They know they know what it is. They're they're there so they can use the bare minimum of the citadel so they don't learn what it is. Why wouldn't they investigate this further? Why would why why wouldn't they? Right, because I chose not to. <laughs> oh, did I fuck up? Should I have actually bugged them? But that guy didn't seem very trustworthy. Investigate. The, yeah, what's dark space? How do space? the Reapers survive out in dark space? What we is have dark only space? theories. The researchers here came to believe machines. the Reapers enter prolonged states of inactivity to conserve energy. This allows them to survive the thousands and thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, they are vulnerable. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel Relay is activated. So right now we can't beat them, but after they beat our ass and wipe out the galaxy, then they're beatable? I don't know how that helps me right now. Yeah, we we won't stand a chance. It is a perfect trap. What should I say? It is the perfect trap. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack. Yes, he just said that. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel and through it the mass relays. Mm, so they could go anywhere they Communication wanted. and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system. They methodically wiped us out. You didn't surrender? I don't think surrendering's an option. 
They'll kill you anyways. You might as well fight to live. The war was lost. If you had surrendered, they no. might have let you live. That's no a strange No offer of face. surrender was ever given. Yeah. Our enemy had a single goal. The extinction of all advanced organic life. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. I'm matching Some with worlds Rex. were utterly destroyed. I'm sure Others I said this were conquered, one time before. their populations enslaved. Sorry. Sorry. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken Damn in it, as refugees listen. by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Oh. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal. And absolutely thorough. Why? Yeah. Maybe it's just in their programming. Since they're machines. What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your but survival depends on stopping them, of course it not in understanding them. Of course you need to understand your enemy. Why did the Reapers leave? Because they were finished. I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. Mm. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. So they come... They steal all knowledge and technology. It seems very Borg-like to me. How can I stop them? How did they stop the Borg? How did they stop the Borg? I don't know, there's lots of options. Lots you of options. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small-scale version of a mass relay. One that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. Oh. Kano, it's not a weapon. It's a backdoor onto the Citadel. So that's that's why he's here. So he can get on the Citadel to send it. I thought he had someone working on the Citadel. How did you manage to stay hidden? All official records of our project were destroyed in the initial attack on the Citadel. While the Prothean Empire came crashing down, Ilos was spared. We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. So what did you do? Yeah, what could what could he do? I don't think him... He's a coward, like... So are all these people still alive then? Or is it just a bunch of dead people? I'm in a grave. And also, how would... How would they not know that this was here if they did wipe all of the information, like the Reapers wiped it themselves, so shouldn't they have known about this already? Or maybe they did already know about this. No, that doesn't make sense, because they could have just came here. Sarah was already on the Citadel. I don't get it, it's fine. Let's just play, let's just play. So you hid. You should have fought. You can't, he We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. 
Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? I mean, they would have all died anyways, right? I mean, I guess what he could have done, he could have let those those people out. But then was he worried that they would be detected? Yeah, yeah. You could have done something else than just kill those people. You were programmed to protect them, not kill them. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. Mm. Blaming I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. Well, when the researchers they? woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning, and they knew the Keepers were the key. Let me know about the Keepers. Aren't yeah. they under the influence of the Reapers? The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. Oh. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Okay, so... I'm still confused. When did they send the signal then? And if Saren was already on, on the Citadel, why didn't he just send it himself? So the Keepers can be the only one that can send the signal. So is Saren here to try and change the signal back? Because then I would get it. I, I understand then. Because <laughs> I'm like, he was already on the Citadel. Why didn't he just open it? Okay, so he's trying to find out why the Keepers aren't doing their job. And that's why he was on the Citadel and was a... A Spectre. That's why he was a Spectre. Right? Okay. Unless Saren succeeds, how can they come back? Well, if, yeah, if Saren can figure out how to change the fucking signal to telling the Keepers to open Saren the Saren can use the conduit to bypass all the Citadel's external defenses. Correct. And once inside, he can transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Oh. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. I'm still confused. I'm still confused, but it's okay. <laughs> can you help me? Yeah. Is there any way we can stop them? There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait. How do Where's I know the he's... Citadel's master control unit? How do I know he's not like bad? That. Through the conduit, follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. Okay, I feel like I just had information overload for the past 20 minutes, but I still want to hear more If the Reapers are trapped in dark space, how did Sovereign get here? It is logical to assume the Reapers would leave one of their own behind after each extinction. A sentinel to pave the way for their inevitable return. Like those in dark space, Sovereign probably spent most of the last 50,000 years in a state of hibernation. Periodically, it would wake to analyze the situation. Keeping its existence hidden, it would evaluate the state of galactic civilization. And when the time was right, it would signal the Citadel and usher in the next Reaper invasion. But this time, the signal failed. The Keepers did not respond. Sovereign's allies were trapped in the void. Alone, it was forced to try and discover what had gone wrong. Beacons, keepers. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing. What about I the beacon on Eden Prime, keeper. and the one on Vermeer? What were they for? At our apex, Vermeer. the beacons spanned the breadth of our empire. We used them as a single galaxy-wide network 
to transmit data and communications rapidly from world to world. Virtually all the beacons were destroyed during the invasion, but once the Reapers were gone, the survivors here on Ilos decided to risk sending out a message. We knew it was unlikely there were other survivors, but if there were, we wanted them to know about Ilos. We wanted to give them hope, so a message was sent across the network. Mm, yeah, you could have risk. exposed yourself to the Reapers. In truth, we didn't expect any of the beacons would still function, but we had to try. If there were survivors, we had to reach them. The message was meant for our own people. It was coded so only organic beings could interpret it. We still didn't understand the power of Reaper indoctrination. We never realized it could lead an agent of the machines, like Saren, to this world. But it has also led you here. So perhaps we did not fail after all. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Keepers, I think... So when the Reapers created the Citadel, they created the Keepers okay. as well? A more likely scenario is that the Keepers were one of the early harvested civilizations. Perhaps the very first. Perhaps they responded well to indoctrination, or the Reapers simply bred oh, them to so be cool. obedient. In any case, they were left behind to operate and maintain the Citadel. But the Keepers are no longer directly controlled by Sovereign or its ilk. They evolved so that they only respond to the signals emitted by the Citadel itself. When the Protheans altered the Citadel's signals, they broke Sovereign's hold over the Keepers. Now, they are completely harmless. Uh, does that explain the Geth? I'm confused. Let me, let me know. Sovereign must have realized that organic races were difficult to control. A likely hypothesis. The Keepers evolved in an unanticipated direction. Non-organic servants like the Geth would be more predictable. Ah, oh. For some reason, I was remembering the Keepers as kind of being like robot bugs. But maybe they weren't... Maybe they weren't bugs. Uh, robot bugs. Maybe they were just bugs. Okay, that's it. We did it. Uh, let's move. But before I move, I'm gonna save. Okay, let's move. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. Okay. Am I timed? Am I timed? Paragon 2! I'm not hurrying. This is a very beautiful shot. This is a very beautiful shot. This is such a beautiful shot. I need to take a picture of it. Let's take a picture of it. Okay, guys. Are you ready? Let me do a save in uh, here just in case something fucks up. Oh, oh, sorry. My bad. I'm still learning. I know it's the end of the game, kind sir, but I'm still learning. Now, guys, let's go. I forgot how to run, so we'll just... We'll just have a, a brisk jog. Brisk jog. There's so much information that just went in my brain. I don't even know what to say about all of everything I just learned. So many races looked right. up to the Protheans as paragons of civilization. They were fooled by the Reapers, just as we were. They failed. Keep it moving. I've got no intention of ending up like them. The water wall is gone. Okay, guys. I'm pretty sure this is the front of my car. And this is the way we're going. I'm not going to go flip my car again. Oh, I almost flipped my car again. All right. I'll fight you with my car then. I want to be that sort of fucking guy. How are you alive? I ran over you with my car. So all of these pods are open then. They killed a lot of fucking people. I don't even think that makes me go faster. I think it just shakes the screen to give me an illusion of going faster. Was I supposed to get off somewhere? Thank God I brought my car. My stem would never... Did I go back? I went the wrong way. Did I go the wrong way? I went the wrong way. I could have sworn I was going the right way. Wait a minute. I'm... Uh, well, I'm not gonna make it now. Guys. Okay. Um... 
Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Let's do this. A million point turn. You know, if this game had one of those fucking Mario things that come down and tell you you're going the wrong way, that would be fantastic. Fantastic. I'm back. I'm back. My bad. Okay, the door. Right. So this is a different way. I could have swore I went the right way. Alright. Get out of here. That music was scary. If I can stay in the car, I'm gonna stay in the car. Uh oh. Please don't crash! Please don't crash! Mass Effect, we've made it so far together. I don't wanna crash. Um, who? name of Pony. Ooh! I, he caught fire! I didn't know we could make them catch fire. Oh, I'm not sure if I got it. Ooh! I went right over that one! The planet has so many weird noises. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait. This is the way, right? I'm not going back the wrong way. What is that? Something's on fire. Oh, oh. What the fuck is that? Is that... Is that the... Uh, I, the conduit. I, I wanted to say Citadel, but... We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay. And these deaths aren't going to make it easy It's on not us. letting me move. Oh, what get? There was no get there. Oh. Okay, so it's in Citadel space now. It's there already. They didn't listen to me. Wait, did I lose? Wow. They're not even standing a Activated fucking chance. Activated defense. Seal the station. The arms aren't moving. Systems not responding. Why weren't you prepared for this? Abandon the Citadel. Evacuate the council. Citadel control. Citadel control. Do you copy? I thought I thought I was supposed to beat him there. Oh, it's timed. It's timed. Oh fuck. Ponies. I gotta just break through the ponies. I don't have time for you ponies. Okay, okay, okay. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Nope. No time for ponies. No time for ponies. Fuck off. No. No. Okay. Oh, I was just slingshotted there. I got a trophy. I got a trophy. Thank you, ponies. Critical failure is detected across all monitored systems. Please begin emergency evacuation. Already? They did this much damage? They just got here. I didn't think I would be coming back to a citadel like this. Thank you for your guidance car that I hated this entire game. 
but not as much as Ashley. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Let's save. Let's save. I can't believe. I, I, they literally got here, like, I don't know. 20 seconds before me? Oh no! Oh. You're the bad guys, right? Yeah. Holy shit! Where am I going? Oh, fuck you. Okay, wait. Do I have the right weapon on? I'm gonna use... What was I using? I changed my weapons recently. Is it this one? Oh, yes. Let's fucking go! Get the fuck out of here! These are my least favorites! They're the creepies. We got them all, Shepard. I don't believe you. Okay, Avina, let me know. The Presidium is experiencing severe system malfunctions across the entire level. All non-emergency personnel must evacuate immediately. Man, I feel stressed out. <laughs> I feel stressed out. Give me out. a rundown of the damage. We have lost all primary power to the level. Environmental controls are not responding. Class 3 fires are burning in sectors 2, 3, 6, and 7. Civilian casualties are high. No! I am also detecting numerous unauthorized synthetic life forms throughout the station. I thought I would have made it here. Like, before all this shit happened. Come on. We need to stop Saren before it's too late. Is this because I drove down the wrong way of the tunnel? No, right? This would happen regardless. I don't know why I'm standing here, but I am. I'm not gonna try to run, because when I try to run, I press the wrong buttons. All I need to know is how to... Why do I still have my gun on? Why do I still have my gun on? I just need to know how to heal. Hey! That's so mean! <gasps> Wait! No, no, no! The Citadel's closing! They're sealing the station! Oh. Don't let the enemy ships inside the arms! Is Saren sealing the station? Or Saren's where the... Are, wait, are they on my side? Yes. Or is Saren about to send the signal? I wouldn't even be bothering, like, to shoot this ship. This ship has had how many, how many years to upgrade itself? Years isn't even the right word for it. So good. That's how it docks? Oh right, because they they made this. So it turns into what sign opens the uh, the portal, I guess. Saren's locked the elevator. Suit up! We're going outside! What, what do you mean we're going outside? What do you mean? Wait. Have I done this before? I forgot. But I might be thinking of a different game. Garrus? 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 Never thought I'd see the Citadel from this angle, Shepard. Oh, yeah, wow. I'm coming. Oh, what is it doing? What is it doing? It's trying to break in? I don't even know where I'm going. Let's fucking go. I forgot how to run. Eat 
for the first time in my entire playthrough has a bomb actually been useful. And for an actual character that needed to die, not just myself. Get sick, sick. Now it is fun. Yeah, you're right. It is getting fun. It is getting fun. I still don't know how to run, but my bomb works. I'm on it. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Get the fuck out. Are you fucking kidding? No, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, that's not the heal. All patched up. <laughs> One shield. This fucking guy. Sorry, guys. Press the wrong button for a heal. Can you, Garrus? 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 Can you move, Garrus? Game, game, make up your mind! Holy fucking shit! Are you kidding? Here it comes. Not now, Why? I want to leave here. That went through the wall. Oh my god, there's so many over there. Okay, wait, where's the thumb? I mean, where's- oh! Oh my god, that's so fucking cool! Uh, wait, where am I going now? Ah! Come on! Give me like, two fucking seconds! Guys, you suck. You're not even fucking helping. Ooh. Ooh. Let's fucking go. Uh, uh. shoot the thingies but when I was shooting them it wasn't showing anything so I just didn't think much of it we got this now guys we fucking got this
sorry. That took longer than it should have. <gasps> Is it leaving? Hold on. Where am I going? This way. Over here. Right? Let me just double check. Yes. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna confront Saren right now. <gasps> okay, I know Saren's down there. Uh, maybe what I should do is leave the episode here. I know we didn't do much. We did learn a lot of lore in this one, and we learned that I still don't understand what's happening for the most part. What is that? What is that? I want to see what that is though first. Oh, a med kit. All right, well, I see some assholes on the way over here. Uh, so what I will do before I leave, I'll murder them. Wow. This is a really good gun. <laughs> okay. I'm going to leave the episode here. I actually really remember standing in this place so many episodes ago and taking a picture of Shepherd's ass and it's all come back here and this is where I'm gonna end it and I'll see you guys in the next episode which I'm guessing will be the last episode maybe uh, or maybe there'll be another episode after because I'm guessing well we're gonna have a, a Saren fight and then maybe I'm gonna have to fight Sovereign I don't know sometimes the fights are a little shorter than other games that I'm used to so we'll see when we get there I hope this episode was exciting and fresh and fun and didn't crash and it didn't crash. So that's great. And I'll see you guys in the next episode, which I will film on time because nothing went wrong. Can't see his ass. Can't see his ass. Fuck the ponies.